think you're still tuned in to Culture Daily, the big conversation. As you can see, we're in that hip-hop mood, it's that hip-hop vibe. We started off with um, uh, Papi Kojo, Joey B, Real know we went to E.L.'s, Frodo, Baggins, Konongo Zongo from the man Black Sheriff, we went back to Cold with Joey B, and now we're on Medical. And it's definitely a hip-hop vibe here, and the studio is full of hip-hop heads, the hip-hop heads. When you hear the phrase, hip-hop head, hip-hop head, no. Today I've brought all the heads. Mm-hmm. Denche, the biggest heads. Yes. And hip hop is 50 size, years yeah. globally. In case you don't know, we're celebrating hip hop at 50 worldwide. And Nazir Jones, Nas, is the official global ambassador for hip hop. Ghana, we don't have an ambassador yet, but we are doing our best to project and elevate the conversation around hip hop. For those of you who don't know, even our hip life exists because <laughs> the man Reggie Rock Stone was inspired by hip hop and brought that fusion back to Ghana and tried to create something new and elevate so hip-hop is the father of it all we've heard that over and over again and people just think oh these rappers they want to talk something hype themselves <laughs> you don't know if it's not bars it doesn't exist so we're taking you through the mill with we're taking you through the experience where hip-hop in ghana started where it was promoted how it elevated is it dead are we seeing a rebirth la mem is back are you aware mm. well we're going to get into all of that. In the mm. studio today, I'm starting from my right, my big brother. The legend. The big brother who has created a platform, owned a platform, elevated myself, likes of most of your rapping celebrities, the people who say they are rappers now, people who were rappers mm. back then. <laughs> if you didn't pass, bless them, Mike. Who bless you who to bless, bless them, Mike? Ciao, Charlie. Ciao, Charlie. Ciao, Charlie. Ciao, Charlie. My big bro, P.Y. Yes, P.Y. Yes, yes, in the yes, house, Charlie. Yes, yes, if, yes, if they don't bless you to bless them, Mike. <laughs> ah, if you bless them, oh, Mike. Charlie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Welcome, welcome Thank to Culture you. Daily. Thank welcome you. to Culture Thank Daily. You. Next to him is my brother, my own brother. Every day people say, oh, Serial MC Africa, Serial this, Serial that. But people don't know that before Serial go MC Africa, somebody hmm. already go. Go, go clear the bush. Somebody take first cutlass, enter the wilderness, clear the bush, so that path go day. So that Serial go feel walk top. It's my own brother, Jay Tizzle, Jay up, Town, up, Charlie, what up, what up, what up, bro. Welcome to Culture Daily. Thank you, I hype brutal, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> the hip hop day, the feeling inside. Charlie, to speak up for me. Speak into your mic, speak. I hear you, Charlie. Welcome. Yeah. What's good, bro? What's good? Charlie, Aquaba. Vim, 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 vim. Now, hip hop started with sampling. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. hip hoppers, we don't get beat play. They take old tunes, then the DJ go check it, work it, check it, work it. Um, then somebody go boss a freestyle. Believe it or not, J Town was one of the people who used to freestyle along with me when we were doing this hip-hop thing in GH. But what we go freestyle to if we no get beat? Uh-huh. Beat where they part to the point, say, the person he named be Beat Menace. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, if oh, if, Charlie, if beat Papa, you are in a good mood. <laughs> you are in a good mood. You are in a You are in a good mood. 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 You are in a You are in a good If the good Charlie. <laughs> if the beat pop, ah, we gonna say this guy. If he beats menace, oh, <laughs> what do you want to hear <laughs> again? Oh, Charlie! Shout out to my brother, man. Charlie beat menace. I've known this guy man. for too long. Too yeah. long, Charlie. Too long. For stop know you said. You know what would be funny? <laughs> I remembered how you and I first bonded. We attended the same school. We lived. Yeah. We're like neighbors in the same yeah. neighborhood. Oh wow! Wow! Oh, yeah. I've known yeah. too long. I've stop now. Over what? In sp- over speakers. Speakers. Some our day you carry some cable. Yeah, some cable <laughs> speakers now. Yeah, they carry. They they carry my, on my head. Wait, my old man to get the same speaker. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie speaker. you guys should speak up for me. Oh. Charlie, oh, no, Charlie, no, no, Charlie, Charlie, up here. So, <laughs> solid yes. speakers. So. Speakers. Yeah, yeah. Wow. speakers. So my dad had a Kenwood. Those days they call them pieces. Yeah, yeah pieces. My dad, yeah. my dad had some Kenwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I, I lie, I'm saying, oh, our day, I don't go do anything. Yeah. So I left the house and I went to hide somewhere. He doesn't know this story first time. <laughs> so I go hide with my boys for saying things. We go hide yeah. for some side and we saw my dad move his car and left and then quickly operation steal the speakers. What time? So we enter the living room, we dismantle everything. Pa, 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 pa. Well, I carry one speaker from my head, the other guy carry one, somebody <laughs> behind the deck. One of the local line. And the school was like a oh, half a kilometer. From Aido to primary school. You guys like, actually carried... Bro, we carry on for head. Now we we'll go taxi, we are... Like, oh, <laughs> 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 little, little, gone. Bro, with a good jump. Because you know, say sound no did us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Bro, yeah. Inside. yeah. Bro, yeah. Bro, that's crazy. I went to set up my, li- my father's living room <laughs> stereo <laughs> in, 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 a, in a JSS class. The way we jam. Ah, jam, 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 j
Oh. Oh. He did jump away. He climbed some tabletop. He yeah. jump away. Hmm. The fan is spinning. You know? Wait, wait, what? Uh, Charlie, the fan was... right now makes so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a jam. That'd be a jam of a party. But of course, nice, I'm not nice, alone nice, with these nice. brothers. Yeah, My man. brother Olele Salvador is still here with me. Oh, yeah. Lele Charlie, even though he's a high life musician at heart. We know, we know, we high life people. It's like we are step cousins. Step cousins. It's like you, you enter the room, chop some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> high life connoisseur. <laughs> 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 A connoisseur, a connoisseur. <laughs> uh, Charlie, my nice. brothers, welcome again oh, to bro. Culture Daily. I need you to speak into your mic, too, because we have a lot to speak about. We have an hour, Thanks for and it's going nice. nice. to run back, nice. Charlie. No, so very excited off. to be here, Charlie. Yes. Charlie, you thank know what? You, thank before you, thank before you. you even go, go in, mm. first of all, congratulations to you guys, the entire team. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you guys been pushing this, and we needed this, and we, we need more of this as well. Mm. You know, me and Jay Tan have that conversation not too long ago. Yeah. And this is good. Congratulations to the entire team, you know, the producers, everybody, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nice thank you. Daily, nice Daily. We <laughs> <are> doing <laughs> Charlie, we're doing our best trying to elevate the culture, as yeah. you know already. Yeah. Look, Charlie, awesome. where did you discover hip hop? I know you have a love for hip hop. I, I, you are one of the few people. Every time I think about hip hop, your name pops up. But it had to start from somewhere. Where did you fall in love with hip hop? I think it goes uh, as far back as '86. Hmm. I won't show my age today, but. You know, <laughs> but this is before I went to Form 1. I go Form 1 89. And I remember 86, I just moved back to airport residential area. Mm. And that time, they are flat. And uh, we did Block 5. But there's some guy, they Block 4. You know, they call him Shekels, one mm. of my OGs. And I remember I go Shekels in house some day where they play. They play, you know, he, he, they love music. So he used to play quite a lot. You know, but every time, every time they do the mixes, you no, know, the, the, the cassettes. Mm. Mm. So I go sit there, I go listen. But it is sound, because I me, mean, I grew up on. Um, um, Diana Ross and Michael Jackson mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. uh, 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 what do you call it Kenny Rogers it's you know, music, music. can yeah. you look on the, the little mixer in front of you and turn down the knobs I think some headphones are on giving feedback if you okay. are, the, 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 yeah, just turn it all down so that yeah, yeah. alright Charlie okay. you were saying Diana Ross yeah 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 so you know grew up listening to this from you know my mom's collection my uncles but then I saw I go shackles in there I, I did, did play some so I said ah with this I hear you know but then I go here you know I'm your mother, I'm your father, I'm your... I'm like, ah, look at this. I see, you know. I'm your pusher. I'm like, oh, you know. Charlie, I say, wow, wow, what be the day? You know, from there, then I go Form 1, 89. Uh, before that, I was always dancing. Me, you know, up the boogie there. Come on now. We, we, we chop up left and right, break dancing and all that, you know. So I did win competitions for school, for church self, we did win. <laughs> but then as I go form one, we do competition for the different houses in my house. We actually won, but they rig them as usual. We don't take you to our guys. Quite I do them. You know, but we don't ball. <laughs> but our guys are telling me, to the stage now. And this, uh, <laughs> you know, so the love was from, from, from that element of dancing, you know. But then, you know, as we did school, 89, um, 89 back then, you know, Kumo D, yeah. um, the likes of, you know, the king himself, Eric B, mm. um, a smooth operator, you know, yeah. all them tracks, they come out. Then fast forward to 1990, I used to watch a lot of movies. Then I go watch that time for Apple. We had a place called Facade. Mm. And, you know, Facade, that'd be the only place you could figure the best movies and the new movies. So I go there one time, I see, say, some poster day there with some two guys, one half co guy. One dark guy, one cutting hair some way. Kid that was how kid and play house party, oh, wow. you know. So I'm like, oh, snap, Charlie! This one took me to a whole different level. So I have to what? I no sleep. I binge watched it the whole night over and over. So I could feel like the dance moves. That's where I learned how to do the keyhole and stuff, you know. So then that be where the love came from. And then since then, you know, we started listening to everything else. You know, fast forward into the you know late '90s to what we love best into the yeah. the Jay Zs, the Tupac. You know, and that's that's where the love came from, man. Since then, it's been with us. We go, we go live and die with hip hop mm. till we die. I love that, Jay. You know, nice one. Where Mine, you find hip hop for? My uncle playing the first hip hop song I ever heard was "The Fat Boys All You Can Eat." Oh wow! <laughs> three three rappers, all different styles, beatboxing, finesse and flow, showing you that Charlie, I can rap, but give you style. And give you beatboxing to like compliment what I was saying. Yeah, blew my mind. Mm. After that, the next one for me was I started listening to LL Cool J. Yeah, 
Because mm. at that point, nobody did feet touch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was yeah. like yeah. Yeah. God the, mode. The man. Yeah. yeah. And then my uncle Percy introduced me to my favorite storyteller of all time, Slick Rick. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The ruler. Oh, yeah. Rick <laughs> not only could tell you story, had flow, but the accent, he finessed it in the yeah. best way for yeah. you to like enjoy you feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I felt that. So that, that was it for me. And then when you come to the golden years, Wu Tang yeah. was. Yeah. Beyond the best thing to me ever, mm, yeah. combining uh, kung fu yeah. <laughs> with rap yeah. was just amazing to me. People yeah. like um, Eric B, Eric B Rock yeah. Kim, yeah. Um, uh, what's his name, Curtis Blow with yeah. ba- basketball. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I think that was the first platinum record mm. in a hip hop song. I think, but all the first platinum selling artist. Mm. So that info always stuck with me as well. And Dana Dane, all these people. So. Mine definitely started from like back in the day, and then it started progressing, and then seeing different styles from Crucial Conflict to Bone Thugs. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Coming down from uh, what's his name, Ice Cube. Oh yeah. And you know it just trickled down. Then producers started being a thing of mine as well. So learning the pro- uh, the producers who were making these songs was very important to me as well. So Dre is very important to my life. <laughs> And it pro- produced the soundtrack to my life growing up mm. in the hip hop stage. Yeah. Mm. All right, all right. Asbe. <laughs> Charlie, it's difficult for me to pinpoint a specific or definitive moment yeah. that hip hop made an impression. So I think it happened over an extended period and pretty early. Yeah. You know, and because I was raised on a lot of classic music. Mm. Classic in the sense that, you know, soul yeah. and, and all that stuff. I think what drew me to some hip-hop records was the fact that I could actually hear elements of sampled music in there, yeah. Yeah. which I found very intriguing. Yeah. And of course, there was a thing about wordplay. And, you know, if you listen to the early hip-hop guys, like a lot of them used to say some really deep stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. sure. Over time, I think, you know, it got watered down, mm. but you yeah. know, it comes mm. with... You know, yeah. the, the generation, of, yeah, generation yeah. and the evolution of things, and yeah. I think also because it was also partly social commentary. Mm. Yes. You think yes. about it. There was yeah. enough yes. to talk yes. about. Yes. This. Exactly. Yes. Now so, people are chill. Well, yeah. there's never not enough to talk about. It's how you do it it's that I think it. matters. Yeah. You That's know what I mean? So all these things made obviously did make an impression, and um, it was wild to me. Yeah that somebody could paint pictures just by using words, words and yeah. how they presented it. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. to make you feel a need to belong. Because it was a whole cultural and lifestyle thing. Charlie mm. does a time when a bag is he Charlie's hero. We reach a point the jeans in the way. You know what I mean? Sissy has. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 but that just speaks to how powerful the movement was. Yes. You have yes. to look a certain way. At some point, we were talking a certain way. Yes. It is shut us some way. Yeah. You know yeah. what Think I mean? Some way. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's yeah. So you don't have too many things in life that binds people to give them a that's sense true. of community that's, that's as strong. Yeah. Like you know what up. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember there was this guy. I don't like the guy. And they hate the guy. When I realized, actually, he was a big Outkast fan and he listened to Wu-Tang, mm. we became friends instantly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Forget everything yeah. else. That's how, yeah. oh, that's how it is, yeah. You know, just didn't yeah. matter. Yeah, wow. Everything just went, you know, became irrelevant. Mm. You know, and, and, and it's crazy. And I think there's no time in history like now that we need more of these movements mm-hmm. yeah yeah okay talking Absolutely. about talking about times in history like i said earlier on mm-hmm. 50 years on right mm-hmm. yeah hip-hop is 50 years on they're trying to elevate it they're trying to celebrate it my first question would be why did we wait 50 years what happened to hip-hop at 20 hip-hop at 30 hip-hop at 40 and after 50 years are we going to wait till 100 years or is this going to be a thing and then also us being involved, I'm saying us, those of us in the room and people on our level, quote unquote, mm-hmm. what are we doing locally to elevate hip hop? I mean, yes, hip hop has changed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Ghana didn't embrace it the way they should have, blah, blah, blah. Right. All that, we'll get into all that. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't change the fact that history is history. What happened, happened. Those, uh, that era that we all lived through yeah. exists, right? And we love it. But how do we project that locally? Any ideas, any mindset? Because I'm taking it back to a platform like, Bless the mic, yeah, right? right. Yeah. Where we were speaking about artistry, 
Yeah. A while back. Yeah. Where Black Bless the Mic was a platform where you honed in your skill. Mm. Yeah. That's where you got over your stage fright. Yeah. That's yes. where your mic mm -hmm. go Jimmy Small, you go see how you go freestyle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That be when your DJ go see say mm -hmm. this makes no the pop, mm -hmm. yeah. crowd control, all that. Yeah. We've lost platforms like that and we're moving people straight from the studio mm -hmm. to expecting stage. them to, mm. to kill on stage. Yeah. Mm. There's no place you go do your training. There, I mean, there's no cult. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. no incubator, yeah. basically. Yeah. No incubator, yeah. There's no you incubator, know, Umboko, yeah. Tkakra, Division yeah. 1, Division yeah. 2, before yeah. you get from, I can play football now, Straight Premier League, yeah. yeah. right? And I, <laughs> yeah, no, and I feel, I feel yeah. those platforms were critical mm -hmm. in forming those we refer to as rappers now, or OGs and whatever. People call yeah. me OG. I'm, I'm still fresh and cute. Oh, <laughs> Chale! I don't, know, I don't know why they call me uh, that. Because I'm like, FNC, because, baby! Yeah, because yeah. everybody who's a rapper that I know, who's a dope rapper, used to have a day job. Yeah. And never yeah. gave up their day job until they figured out that, okay, this I am confident now yeah. I can do this rap. Yeah. I had a day job. Yeah. Before I went to MC Africa Battle, I was at my office. I was with us. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we had a studio together. Yeah, right, yeah. and we were there before yeah. we went. EL yeah. had a, a day job. Yeah. EL used to work at the Ghana Post Office yeah. and do voiceovers <laughs> yeah. while he was still doing music yeah. and performing on platforms like yeah. Bless the Mic. It goes on and on and on. I can yeah. tell you, everybody yeah. who say be rapper those days, GH rap, blah blah, had a day job. Yeah. But because we had the incubation of platforms like Bless the Mic, uh, yeah. Alliance Francaise, every now and then, Charlie yeah. Watte, every Lewis's now and then. Lounge. Yeah. Yeah. Lounge yeah. And all yeah. That. Yeah. People yeah. had the opportunity to roll up their sleeves, take off their tie, yeah. and go bust a rhyme until it worked out. Yeah. Soul emotion. Yeah, soul emotion, yeah. exactly. Yeah. How 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 do you how, what, what what do you think is the is the is the reason why we've we, we we've lost that? Because that's a big link for me. Because these days people go straight for Syria, they rap, you go feel help me, I'll do this song. Yeah. I'm like, bro, your breath control or the of the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> The whole song be, be exercise. He be stout. I just got a I just got a flashback of him mm. coming from work one of the mm. one of the nights for bless the mic. Hey. Hey. Come out to tired or yes, we grab my. Yeah, that's so true. You yeah. know, I have some picture Stone of, 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 of uh, uh, Pato Rankin. Mm. Yeah, all those guys. Yeah, you know, yeah, back yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. just rappers, though. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't just rappers. Charlie was crazy. Yeah. I remember yeah. there was a time it be mm. like the instrumental or something. No, they work, and I for bring drum machine. In Come like two minutes. The, oh, mm. I did make beats live mm. on stage. Yeah. yeah. And then they pass mic. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And so I, I, I am, um, uh, if, 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 if Ricky yeah. can hear me, if production can hear me, there's a picture. Um, oh, let me see if goodness. I can mention it. I have <laughs> oh, what you just said. Oh, why you say uh, my God? Are you afraid? <laughs> I'm going to have a question for you. But, but talking about, mm. you know, just mm. doing things on the spot, that'd be how, that's, then that'd be how the energy day. Exactly. Because we had to make things happen. Yeah. You know, and I think that was at one of the Alliance Francaise shows, right? I did, oh. I did a number of times at Basel. No, at Basel. Yeah. Yeah. There was a Silver Star Tower. Yes. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. Teria. Teria, we did the, the Christmas yeah. event, you know. Yeah. Okay. The only time that Ghana had an event that was Guys, going. <laughs> my question, my question again is, yeah. what is the missing link? Why, 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 did, why did we stop that refine, refinement process? Because it's affecting now in every genre of music I, that we produce here. I, I, have, okay, you go ahead. I have an unorthodox um, answer to this. I think what we need to be asking ourselves is how sustainable mm. is what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if it's not sustainable, in an emerging economy like this, Charlie, you go reach some point, you would strap your boots mm. and find something else. Okay, mm. sustainability is a thing. And there's also a cultural aspect to it. Mm. From the economical aspect of it being sustainable or not sustainable, there's the cultural aspect of being nurtured in an environment where you're raised in a school and they tell you, don't speak vernacular. Hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. really, to project hip-hop to the next level, it should be culturally relevant. Hmm. And I believe hip-hop started here. We mm. just didn't give like a collective name, name to it to the yeah. movement mm -hmm. because if you if you consider the fact that someone like J. W. Ambule was cutting or rapping yeah. in yeah. the seventies, yeah. yeah, it must be valid. Mm. It also needs to be understood that culturally, as the Akans among mm. the Equiapims, the the Achims and things, yeah, they had a, a culture known as Edna. Where it was like a battle of words, yeah. wordplay. That's, yeah. that's yeah. basically like the rap that's battle. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you'd have like a long line of families 
that were linguists and people who were like uh, um, spokespersons, Keith. spokespeople. You know, and they, yeah, mm. Achiame, Achiame, yes. yeah, yeah. And they had a culture where, where people came literally from. Yeah. Mm. would battle with words and they would, they, would, they would pick somebody as being like supreme. Mm. You know, there were activities like that. And then you take even break dancing. Yeah. If you break it down, it's capoeira. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really capoeira know. emerged from so Africa. Dance. Yeah. So, you know, a couple of months ago, you had a conversation here. I think it was UJ Foley, Olili. I can't remember who it was. Um, Ochami Kwame. Yes. Yeah. I was tuned in that day. Brilliant conversation you guys had. Mm. And um, Cyril mentioned something about documentation, right? And he said, because now we are in the digital era, you'd have a track record of certain things that are done. Mm. But we need to also be deliberate to make sure that over time, if Facebook fails to exist, and he and I had just had a video mm. that was strictly mm. on Facebook, it's not lost it's not forever. Lost forever. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very important. Yeah. So yeah. now we need to connect back we, we, we need to get back to our roots to make some of these things sustainable. I remember growing up, I'd always play loud music with my older brother, hip-hop. And my dad would frown, turn down the music. That's noise. That's garbage. <laughs> the first time I got, my dad literally mm. entered my room and said, what are you listening to? Play it again. Was when I'd saved, literally saved my lunch money for months to be able to afford Obrafo's Paimuka album. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, he heard it and like, he was like, is that rap? What's he saying? He literally sat on my bed and was listening to the song. I think it was Kwame Nkrumah or something. A bra yeah. four. You understand? Yeah. So that should Brav tell you something. Because bef long before bra four, I was a hip-hop head. I had everything from Coco Brothers to yeah. Oh, yeah. Wu Tang yeah. and oh, yeah. Fushnikins. Yeah. Uh, That's Effects. Effects. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. No yeah. diggy And you used to hear the stuff and be like, why well, aren't you, you know, to yeah. him, that was noise. It didn't yeah. make sense to him. Yeah. The, the bridge for him was for him to hear Paimuka. Mm. And that's powerful. Yeah. yeah. So that's and why I remember back in the day, you wouldn't take a taxi mm. if they didn't have a cassette player. Yeah, in that was exactly yeah. yeah. because you had. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 True. So it's a powerful thing. I think these are things we need to be comfortable speaking about, and we need to address all of these issues because, mm. as a people collectively, who are we? Mm -hmm. Year of return, year of return. People they come to Ghana. What is the Ghanaian experience? You can't tell. You can't really tell. There's yeah. no five star restaurant, uh, uh, hotel, or three star hotel in Ghana. You check in. There's Alata Semina that has been packaged in a certain way. We go rive out dove, real mm -hmm. soap or something. Never. Yeah. But go to Japan and things. J Charlie, the Japanese are so advanced. They, they We're just talking about the, chocolate the Americans look like jokes. Oh yeah. Right? Charlie, so I'm but going in. Eh? Everything yeah. is. Built, <laughs> <laughs> everything is built yeah. around your culture mm. and yeah. the core. We need to get back to that. And that because hip hop is us, we can't run away from it. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You I know like what that. I mean? Hip -hop, hip hop is us. I love that statement, right? And on that tangent, I'm going to ask PY yeah. that as somebody who was a pace setter and trying to create that environment, what do you think might be the limitations now that nobody has replicated it till date? Because since um, Bless the Mic stopped operating, yeah. right? We've not had anybody try to replicate it. There's no other event doing the same thing. And it's just been a, a dry patch. What do you think the limitations are? Well, from, um, from our personal experience, you know, when um, I've always, you know, had the passion to do this. You know, before I even came back to Ghana, my college days, Charlie, we were on the streets in Little Rock, Arkansas, out of all the places. Wow. <laughs> you can relate to that. I am. You know, I am. and... Um, um, you know, that's why I even met the executioners, the DJs from, oh, from, wow. from LA, from you LA. know. So we did it. I, I was also a, a DJ at that time. But then I'd be reggae DJ, you oh. know. For, I went from hip-hop to reggae because I had to find a way to fit in there, you yeah. know. But I was still doing my hip-hop stuff, you know. Even my dorm, my, my roommates, my people, we're always having arguments and, you know, conversations about that. Um, and then, you know, coming back home, putting uh, Bless the Mic together, um, the passion was always there, but I think what we, what we, what a lot of us didn't really understand was they put PY brand, you know, they couldn't separate the PY brand and the Bless the Mic brand. brand. Okay. So if PY is not around, Bless the Mic doesn't exist, mm. you know. And I'm also a part of that, you know. I blame myself because I also was just going and going and going, you know. When others were coming along, Manche was one of the first guys, you know that tagged along that we started doing this because Manche used to be in a group with, uh, with Funky, 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 yeah, Funky, Funky, yeah, with yes. my cousin, you know, um, his one of his partners, you yes, know, sir, and um, um, 
and uh, uh, and and so that's you know he came on board. We started doing this, you know, because I came with that passion. You know, that was already doing this events on, uh, uh, and I think we started off by calling it G string. You know, oh, I remember that, which was just guitar strings. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I was like, oh, so the acoustic guys would come. I had a guy from Burkina Faso. They actually live in Ghana. Then they come every weekend and go. Uh, wow, but they can't play. Shaka Diara. I, I think Shaka, yes. Shaka, Shaka, Shaka. Diara. We had yeah. the, the, what do you call that thing? The, the, the Kora, the, the Ngoni. Ngoni, the bigger yeah, one. Ngoni, you know, yeah. the, the first time I, I met this guy, I was like, oh, wow. You know, so then the passion is there. The, then my boy Evil Twin came on board. You yeah, know, twin. we started doing it together, producing with me. Because like, you know, like-minded people, people thinking yeah. together. Um, but then would they do this thing on our own? You know, would they push that? They take my mommy and pick up. Take, you know, the come bless the mic. <laughs> After the show, I go carry everybody. The DJs, the guys, drop, Stone drop, Boy, drop, everybody. Drop, drop, drop. I go drop, drop people for a down choir, for a circle and things, you know. Just doing this out of love and passion. Um, but then when it got to the point where we thought we could get some strong, you know, support. support. Whether it was from government or whether it was from uh, um, the private uh, individuals, corporate, corporate bodies. The corporate bodies, you know. Yeah. It wasn't there. People, whether they come bless the mic and... Come enjoy down. the arts and everything. Oh, yeah, come. We will go sit down, do a, a full-fledged meeting, presentation, everything. Nothing will come. But you go see they go support something with Charlie. You know, Don't really, know they that. sustain. You is, understand? Is it that they didn't see... The, is it that they, they couldn't see, you know, commercial viability in what... Because they didn't, um, they didn't understand what we were doing. It was so fresh and so new to them. But they were there. They, yeah, they but were they were enjoying they, what you were doing, but they didn't understand it. Yeah, but how, so if, how if do you how do you enjoy something you don't understand? But if you go and sit in the board meeting, mm -hmm. you understand, you they enjoy them. But the rest of the team, the you for convince everybody. Right. And we come into that meeting also has to make sure we convince everybody together right. with you. Right. You know, right. and it's sometimes it's so hard mm -hmm. because they, they see, I say it will be rappers. They just, I uh, will be this that are B boys who they just they rap, rap and things. Because don't forget, yeah, we're just coming yeah, off the band with a fuck. That was a stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. That, was a yeah. stereotype. Yeah. that was a stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. We believe that are B boys or more musica, Marco school, school dropout and things, you know. <laughs> and you want, that, that was it, you wow. know. But don't forget at that time, we just they come off the, the, the hip life, you know, the transition from the transition hip life. But this is life, in yeah. 2004, 2005, 2006, yeah. Mm, yeah. 2007, yeah. we yeah. actually pick up. You know, mm. so they didn't understand where we, we've always been ahead of the game. They didn't understand where we were coming from. So they couldn't actually, you know, grab it. Mm. But then you, guess what? Before you see, you know, somebody go do something with Star. Call it grab their mic or something. Right, you know, right, they even last right, after a season. Right, right. So I'm like, ah, so Star was able to put money behind something like this. Mic, but not bless, but the, mic. Not bless the mic. <laughs> so this is the interesting you know? thing. He said something very, very <coughs> interesting mm. that. Uh, PY the brand yes. bless the mic if you weren't there yes. that means it couldn't happen so I think we, we have to form some form of honesty in Ghana nightlife if the people don't know the, who owns the club they're not coming don't mess with and it. the person is not like a popular person mm. yes. they coming. won't come yes that so for me that's the conversation we're having in there saying that mentality in Ghana it's been this is like we've been psychologically this has been implemented on us from a very long time ago Channel O, we were doing a show at the conference center. Mm. Bow Wow, Kerry Hilson, MI. Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. that. Okay, yeah. so yeah. after I interviewed MI, and he said he would say this off mic, he says, you know what? You know what I find very interesting? There's a lot of great rappers in Ghana, but you guys get no love. Hmm. And I was like, that's very interesting because you are a full English rapper, <laughs> you get all the love. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, it's a mentality thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, speaking of mentality, right? We had <clears throat> Bless the Mic, and mm -hmm. I would say that gave the the novices a platform yes. <clears throat> to elevate and become popular. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you and I had a very special opportunity to elevate. Facts. Through um, MC Africa, Channel O, traveling, yeah. actually seeing that there was a lifeline for yeah. rap. Yeah. Now, I don't want to be the one to say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to be a host today. No problem. <laughs> and ask, mm -hmm. what was it like? That first MC Africa, what was the reception like in Ghana? Okay. Going, coming back, what was the reception like after that? And was there ever the possibility that that would have been the catalyst to set it off? Mm. And why didn't it? Okay. I mean, so, of course, I, when you're done, I'll, I'll, you say, say, my, I'll say mine. But mm. Experience-wise, it, it was the most amazing thing. I didn't sign up for... MC Africa. Jay so signed up for me. At this point, Skillions had broken up. But he just called me. He's like, Charlie, I put your name down. Go do the thing. So I went. The first one was at Reggie Rockstone's club. 
Yeah. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, something happened and they couldn't tape it well. So the next one was at Jamestown. That's when I knew I had one. I knew that for a fact. <laughs> when we got off the bus at the stadium, as soon as I got off the bus, they said, hey, Charlie J. Town, they here. I knew I had one. Just based on how people were saying things about right. me. So when we went, went through, the first um, stage was you, they'll give you a topic, you freestyle, did yeah. that. And then the final battle was me and, no, Padlock was the semi and then some other guy, yeah. one that went to SA. From the time that they started sending... That was in the one with Joel, right? With props. No, his, no, no, no. his that was Serial. That was Serial. Oh, okay, okay. From the, <laughs> that was a year after. That was yeah. a year after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from the time that competition ended and getting the emails and seeing how the South Africans were treating mm -hmm. this as a very serious thing, getting uh, emails about the uh, Sprite being the sponsor and what they wanted from us, I was like, okay, this is like, I'm getting some respect mm, here. Yes. Cool. Got on the flight, got to SA, picked up. Bro, where did they even put us? Like where we were staying, I was like, "Wow, me mm -hmm. bro." They took us. <laughs> they, I'm gonna be a rapper they forever. Took us, they took us shopping. <laughs> they took us yeah. shopping. We had an experience that I had never experienced here before as a rapper. We were actually respected. That was my first time meeting Double HP. Oh, Double wow. HP mm. brought us on his show that he was performing at. Let all the contestants uh, freestyle and rap. Wow. And after he pulled three of us to the side, it's like, yo, you are dope, you are dope, you are dope. I messed with you. Gave me his number. Wow. So from then on, I had a relationship with him. Hmm. And then we met um, Slicker, we met somebody, somebody, another rapper who passed away in SA. No, AKA. Not AKA, no. no this is, he's before. Proverb? Proverb. Proverb, no. yeah. No, Proverb is there. Proverb, proverb is still alive. No, it's, a proverb. Right? No, it's not Proverb. Who? It's not Proverb. It's proverb another, is still alive. It's another right? rapper that was very influential in the Yeah, South yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I so have an we idea got the chance to meet. We had a conversation. And then now the final competition comes now, right? We're at the finals. Going back and forth. Everybody, I've gone through the rounds. My biggest battle was with Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That guy had prepared for me, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost that round, but then yeah. my next round, I beat the guy and came back and then finished that. Uh, my final round, which was a very controversial one at the end, because everyone and their mother said, yo, you won, but it's cool. So I had magazine, um, these people from the magazine and Sprite come to me like, we're going to write about this. What happened is not fair, this, this, and that. But apart from that experience. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm being told the rapper is um, Pro Kid. Pro, pro kid. kid, thank yes. you. Pro kid, we were close. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a pro. That was a shout pro. Out to, just, shout just, out to just, just, and just the way well. they they spoke to us, they treated us, they catered to us, because they made it feel like, yo, this is important to us, mm -hmm. as in the genre, and not only are you guys putting us on the map in terms of we've created the show, the viewership is crazy, Angola, Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria. We are making this happen, and you guys are the first flagship. We are going to treat you special. Hmm. And then I had the after the show at the airport, I had a conversation with Leslie Kasumba, who ended up being my boss at China O. Okay, hmm. and told me that yo, what you guys just did was so amazing. Don't stop. What do you want from all of this? Hmm. I saw an opportunity. So this is why I say thank hmm. you to hip hop. Yeah, I saw an opportunity. I was like, you know what? One day. I'm going to work for Channel, mm -hmm. and I'm letting you know now that I want to be part of this culture. Lo and behold, a few years down the line, 2011, mm -hmm. I get a call that I had to go mm -hmm. do uh, um audition. Mm -hmm. I was the first person to go in for the audition. A few hours later, I get the call that I got the job as the first wow, content. Wow. Hip-hop. Wow. Hip Look, your story, wow. your story Your story. is um, it's a very, I'd say it's an inspiring story because... You, you were the first, right? Out mm -hmm. of the blue. Yeah. Like you said, some of the back in these way they rap for so they make noise. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody thinks anything is going to yeah. come from it. Yeah. But all this happened. And my only problem is that it happened twice. Yes. It happened to him it happened and it happened to, to me. Yeah. Yeah. The same way. Yep. And people are always saying, oh, did you guys take advantage of it? Did you guys milk it? Like, what you want to make I do? I was a young guy <laughs> who was creative, who was capable, who had yeah. gotten recognition internationally, yes. who had been flown out somewhere to go and do the same thing that you are yes. failing to recognize at home. Yeah, exactly. The responsibility yeah. no longer lays on me to come back and try and get your attention. Yeah. Yes. If you are right. paying to your, your attention to your job, yeah. as somebody who is watching the culture, yeah. who is watching the music scene, yeah. who is watching who is coming up 
and who's making waves for yeah. Ghana. You would have seen me on your radar. You would have seen yes. J-Town on your radar. Yes. And you would have plugged us into that system. Yep. But, right? but see, at the time, what was, what, was being, what was being amplified? What was being amplified was, is it? Hip life, yes. Hip life. Hip so life. No, I'll, I'll, I'll elevate. I'll elevate through the genres after that. But my point is, you get recognition internationally. I came back home, and the only people that interviewed me, three people, Jessica. Brownberry and uh, Breadknife, they were a choice back then. How long did it I take you to get an interview? From 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 them. From them. From them, it was quick. It took me a month. DJ Black was staying in the same hotel with me. We were playing, fooling around, and whatnot. DJ Black didn't even interview me when I got back. Wow. wow, and I have I have love for black. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but right. yeah, but the fact but is the fact. It showed the fact. Um, what's their name? Ghana Music Awards, right? Guns and Roses. I was nominated by Channel O for the video. Best video, yeah, I best video, yeah. but ignored yeah. by. I was ignored by Ghana Music Awards till a year later. Oh, but they said Rocky the Rocky Dawuni wins Grammy <laughs> by <laughs> 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 You understand? And that, that's the problem I'm speaking about. Because yeah. when I came back. Jessica hit me up on City. Yeah. Uh, Brownberry and um, Red Knife. Uh, Red Knife hit me up on Choice. Choice. Yeah. I was with you and Baby G yes. at uh, Vibe Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. the Vibe. Yeah. 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 And that was it. And we had those hip hop conversations and it died. Yeah. And we did try to push. We did produce CDs. We did do promos. I yes. did a bloody billboard. Yeah. I had videos running at a crown yeah. mall. Yeah. Like, so people just take yeah. it out of isolation and say, oh, the hip hop people now, nah, they will push themselves. Now, my conversation goes from. All these opportunities that the world gave us, yeah. right? To how we started fueling it ourselves, and that's why I want us now to focus on the GH rap conversation. Okay, we had okay. Navy Blue, we had um, Skillions, mm -hmm. right? We had everybody, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, J Show, boys. EL, uh, Ball J, J Town, C Real, um, uh, Black Bull, uh, uh, Star Road, Gemini, yes. like, bro, oh, oh Star Road, a problem, bro. <laughs> Hartsville. We yeah. had at least a hundred rappers who could hold their own. Yeah. Right. Today, 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 any of those boys, my money did not talk. Don't yeah, forget the list of Buddha Akimilis. Can you can you imagine? Yes. I mean, let's not even go back to Charlie and all that. All yeah. the godfathers that made this happen. We are rap. Yeah. Ghana, if you close your eye, call anything right now. Mm -hmm. We are rap. Mm -hmm. Why did the GH rap movement die? You want honesty? I, honest answers, bro. Honestly, and I'll keep it short so that everybody can have this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Beats men, there's no talk. Make we do our business. You might yeah, go yeah, give us... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 the coffee. Make people start. 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 Is hip-hop dead? Is the GH hip hop dead? No, I don't think so. Is, is hip hop dead. itself is not dead. Yes, yeah. I'm GH it, it can never die. Hip hop, right. hip -hop never will fit die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you look, if it, I will come to GH. Okay. If you look at globally what hip hop is doing now, mm. you know, um, I always say this that the best rappers come from Africa and Ghana right. to be precise. Right. You know, um, LL Cool J with uh, Rock the Bells. You know, they do everything in his power to make sure that he sustains, you know, the hip hop movement. Mm, yeah. um, other podcasts, they do them, I think, you know, like the, uh, uh, the Roots uh, uh, a Block Party, what they do yeah. every year. Mm -hmm. Everybody, they try to do them for Philly and New York. Mm -hmm. they, they try to do them to sustain them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, here in Ghana, because then we know they do bless the mic, it doesn't mean that other platforms were not there. Other platforms came up, you know, left and right, but it wasn't the same movement. It wasn't the same. Mm -hmm brains behind the thing so then you know they push them to that you know global recognition that we we we, we want however right now all eyes are on ghana yeah. so if anything this might be even a better time for us to put on ourselves together and 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 still push the agenda yeah. so gh rap has still been there um people still they rap still they re 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 and they go young boss in the studio i've worked with young boss a couple of times I, formerly called buddha rakimilis mm -hmm. One of the best rappers in Ghana, hands down. Mm -hmm. No two ways. When people listen to him, mix they still say the guy they uh, Bronx or somewhere where they mm -hmm. do music. Mm -hmm. But they but why is he not big? But I mean, I'm I'm asking like I'm not part of it. Yeah, right? yeah. But, but so it, it's 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 the packaging, it's management, it's how we need. You know, it's it's money, all of that. You know, inclusive. You know, but then it's how we deposition on ourselves and how um, because but, if you look at even the air mice and stuff, they 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 suffer. Before they, they they broke out, where is Ice Prince right now? You know they're still suffering, but they they have they've had other ways. You know there's sp some Springboard day if you jump, it will take you very high. Some want to you know figure out and go for the pool inside. <laughs> you know if you come out of the pool, then come again and go to the higher one. Yeah, they make you right jump again. and go again. You know so, so it's a collective effort. 
It do is a think, collective effort. Do you think effort. rappers were too busy rapping? And I think, I think, I think. Let me make, let me make a point on this one. I think most of the rappers got into their their skin and the pride and the thing is part of the main reason why we are where we are because they, they feel themselves too much and they feel, you know, if you tell them. Uh, the S word, you know, fee, you know, because if you say be me, not be that, I be the rapper, I know everything, so who be you? You, my manager said, you don't know what I do, but you know, that's one of the main problems. That's why we are where we are. Mm. The pride. J Town, you sure? So, you, do you agree? Here's here's a question for all of you mm. Sway the Southall. Yes. Mm. Is Sway started in Ghana? Would Sway have been as oh, big? Oh no, like go as make me no. never. So then we know that. So now we know that it's a problem. Right? It would have been Gobe. So when he said, <laughs> no, no. So when he said that, um, it's the packaging, it's the management, and whatnot. I don't agree with that. Mm. Okay. I think it's us as a people. The reception. So you, you, you talk. They they see you say you be Dada B boy, you be this and that. In fact, I went on an interview one day. Mm. The girls say, "Oh, um, you used to live in America." I was like, "Yeah, I was raised there." Mm. Says, oh, when did you come back? So I came back to Ghana for high school. Mm. So, Bobby, then you've been in Ghana for a while. Why, why, why do you still have the accent? <laughs> you go no, wrong. I'm you go wrong. Her, Yo, but I, I blasted her on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so that's that's your issue. Do I make good music or not? Yeah. Exactly. Like, what's what's we have a mentality issue that it seems like nobody wants to talk about that. Yeah. It's no, I want to talk about it. It's, it's We're here. Something we'll talk about it. Not to like our own, mm. and then also the artists. You're right. We have a lot of pride. Mm. At one point, I had a lot of pride, but somebody sat me down and had a conversation that this is what you're good in. Try and infuse. What's going on here with what you do? And I said, right. then I, I'm not being myself. Oh, but, but then, okay. My thing is, I want to be myself. Right. Yes. So if other artists are coming, and let's let's leave America and Europe alone. Right. From other African countries are yeah. coming to the country, able to get shows, able to get the most pay. Yep. And they're reciting their lyrics back to back. What's wrong with me? Mm. Why mm. is it not okay for me to do that? Yeah. Why are certain people in certain positions mm. knowing that they should put this artist for this specific opportunity mm. because he will make us shine, but they'll put in somebody else that they know might not be able to do the job so that they can say that, Charlie, me, 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 I do them. Sick of me, way this yeah. thing. Tiny. Did yeah. a whole song with Ja Rule. I heard that song. Ooh. Wow. Mm. A, few, that. a few people heard that song. Madhouse. Madhouse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. To no avail. All right. Wow. So so now let's we're talking about collaborations. Right. We got international acts. Mm. There's a few other Ghanaian artists that have done um collaborations, collaborations. with this thing. And yeah. even that, then the business sense comes in as well. Yeah. A lot of them do it, they pay the money, forgetting that the label also has to clear it. Exactly. Before you can put it out there. None of that. Nobody was teaching us. We were learning on the fly. So our mistake was yes, we weren't learning. We thought we were rappers, and that that was just going to get us in the way. So, but it's a mentality so, issue. So, was a challenge about the exports of the GH rap style, or it was about honing or building a community within a strong community that could get that? Because let you me, and Cyril, let me, let me, you and Cyril were out there doing great things. Like yeah, you yeah. said, you you got global recognition, but it wasn't reflective. On yeah. what the community was like here. They didn't let me, let me, let me. They didn't care. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think, let me, let me, let me. I think there was a hip hop community though. There was yes, a hip hop community. Yes. A lack of vibrant as we are lack seeing, like a hip life. You, know, <laughs> you can have a community, but if you don't have structures to support that community, then mm -hmm. at some point in time, I mean. You know, often we hear, we hear structure, structure, structure. I mean, yeah. Afrobeats, we talk about structure, we'll, we'll leave that. But when yeah. it comes to. GH rap, when it comes, mm -hmm. it comes to GH hip hop, when we say structure, mm -hmm. what structure are we talking about? Bless the mic okay, was a structure. So the older generation, right? right. Okay. My parents, their parents and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did they used to refer to hip hop as like hip hop heads? Mm. Yeah. Omuye you, you four. Omuye you, you four. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You understand? You four. It'd be some way. Because I think, let me, let me even go way back. In 92, um, this guy, uh, Public Enemy. Yeah. yeah. They had a show in 91 or 92. Mm. Talking drums open for them. Yeah. Yes. I found I at the time that. we weren't in Ghana. I found out much later because I was a hip hop head and I right. say, you know, public enemy. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I think that was Panafest. A year I think. before, yeah, Panafest. Yeah. Mm. A year before COVID or so, mm. one of them came. We met at Republic Bar, mm. and he and I even had like I, I did a thing with my drum machine. Mm. He freestyled over it. Yo Yo Things. Uh, yeah. Selom J. Selom J. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have footage of that. Mm. This was I think 2019, 2018, something recently. Yeah. Interestingly. Chuck D's book, right? Mm. He wrote about his visit to Ghana. To Ghana. And 
how it was such an experience for him because at the time Rawlings, I think, airlifted them in the mm. chopper wow. and landed, you know, wow. at uh, Independence Square. Wow. He didn't book inside. And he referred to um, Kwekuti and Abeku. Yeah. Wow. Mm. In his autobiography, yes. He said the way the guys were rapping, mm. he realized they were part of something that was way bigger than they were. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they had come to the mothership. Yeah. Wow. And it's wild because he left here, went there, and came back to us. Mm. But wow. if you yeah. if you call him you you then some way some way you know, exactly. I don't see why why corporate Ghana will support it mm. because yeah. you because they didn't understand it the they didn't understand, understand it you know hip hop yeah. hip hop suffers the same sickness as dancehall and reggae music and there's that is stigma the stigma behind it yeah, right. yes because there's a negative we. connotation we. Yeah. We. to we. some <laughs> aspects <laughs> of <laughs> the genre yeah both are also competitive yeah and that is where the pride comes in yes hip hop. The better the MC, yeah. the more arrogant, 9 out of 10. Because yeah. the... Ar no, hear me well, out. Well, it's, the, it's built on Braggadocio, right? Ex exactly. Yes. Yes. The, the main fact of... Like, everybody is, everybody is something. Like, why, why do rappers need names? Somebody says, I'm the bear. Somebody says, I'm the mm. god. Somebody says, I'm yeah. the king. Somebody yeah. says, I'm the emperor. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the <laughs> because <laughs> we need that ranking. Yeah. Yeah. So they give me, you vim. You know. that, yeah, they give you vim. Yeah. And that psychology is why I think rappers, they rush. Mm -hmm. which also right. created that limitation that PY mentioned that. Right. So you know I hear nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. The, the fulfillment comes from the fact that you are so confident in your skill, right, that any other thing seems unnecessary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you realize that there's a direct tangent between how good the rapper is technically and, yeah. and talent-wise yeah. right. and how usually poor his career his is. His career is, yeah. Right, so people go as you say, cannabis you ever hit. <laughs> How would they rap as cannabis? Who they yeah. rap as Papoose? Yeah. yeah, you understand. Yeah. Who they rap as Royce the Five Nine? Yeah. Who they rap as Joel Ortiz? Yeah. yeah, you understand. But because they are on that God level yeah. in their minds, if the compromises talks, yeah. that need to be made to become a mass product, yeah, mm. it becomes a, a tough thing. So you end up like Drake will come sing right now. They say be the best rapper. Yeah. But if you look at Drake's catalog, there's probably more singing than rapping. Right. Yeah, yeah. But right, he, but J Cole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. is a rapper? Yeah, 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 yeah. A very down to earth, very down to earth guy. He's still not getting yep. where Drake honest. is. Yep. So I think that at that time that we were doing a GH rap, and I'm holding myself to fault as well. Yeah. Mm. We were so happy being good yeah. at rap yeah. that we forgot that we should have been focusing on rap business. And as much as we tried to elevate and do certain things here and there, yeah. the humility to say, "Oh, Lily, help me." I know if you do this. Yeah. J Town, I don't understand how this thing works. Yeah. We never had that. And the moment one person started blaming the industry, the game, the whatever, mm -hmm. everybody echoed it. Yeah, 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 it be them. Yeah. Even up until now, no, my studio is still full of rappers. But it's still and guess what? It's still a rush. No, no, still no, no, but Cyril, there's, there's, I, there's still some, I, I still think there's, there's a systemic aspect to it. Yeah, there is. Okay. There was a well, time, sure. you and I used to work together. I, I was there like from the beginning. Mm. There were times when you won the thing and came back. You were frustrated. Yeah. Then he started showing up to hip-hop events mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a shirt. Mm -hmm. White color shirt. Yeah, 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 sometimes a tie. Then he, had, he, he started rebranding the MCU mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Because yeah. it was, I mean, I've been in spaces where because I do a lot of things, a lot of people know me outside the music space for other stuff, other stuff yeah. that yeah. they may not know me for music. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? <clears throat> but it got yeah. to a point, it, it, it was nearly uh, me having to introduce myself or, oh, what do you do? And I, I say all the other things, things I do, do outside yeah. of music. Because yeah. mm -hmm. sometimes you present yourself as a musician and the conversation just dumps down. And yeah. like, yeah. very, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. lowest you common don't, you denominator. Don't to, yeah. There's nothing yeah. to talk to a musician about. You, you, you know what I mean? Take your mic and sing. And, 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 so, and so, I mean, Back in the day, I remember there was a time, like, you and I used to speak before, like, you know, there were serious issues with people recognizing that he was so talented. Mm -hmm. Mind you, we had been creating music, like, some six years, yeah, seven years time. before. We were in a rap group together, actually. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what yeah. I mean? And so for us, it was like, this is a time people need to see how great this guy is. Yeah. That he, he this is not just a Ghana thing. It's something he does to... 
the best of his ability, but if you take the skill set anywhere outside of Ghana, mm. it still holds his weight in gold. Exactly. Yeah. But you, earlier on, they, they talked something, right? Mm. And I remember very well um, when we started Bless Them. I think it was about a year after uh, when Alliance Francaise, you know, had got involved through, uh, I mean, he's so rest in peace, Sefa Sakite, who was then mm. the yeah. yeah. cultural yeah. attache. Yeah. 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 You know, because then after Alliance, then um, Du Bois Centre, then yeah. Goitek, you know, the foreign institutions were messing with it. We're yeah. messing with it. They're showing yeah. us like because they understand if yeah. investors in look countries, up, we'll get chances. They you understand know, culture. But, we understand culture. Yeah. But then, 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 then we had already started putting certain structures in place. Mm. We started doing ID cards for artists. Yeah. We started doing uh, 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 um, uh, like registering the artists, you know, so that we could have a database. Mm. I have all these. The other day, they go through my. I, so I, I opened the box. I say. I just sat down. I was like, wow. We actually tried doing all these things. Mm -hmm. You know, when we did the ID card, I remember the guy who came in, those times they do this, uh, the, the Ghana card song, you know. He being can't do the thing for us. Remember me and Ceci, we met at those days at Chelsea Place. We sat down with this guy, you know, our own pocket money. One way or the other, we found a way to, to break the deal. I mean, we're doing this. We're doing T-shirts. Um, we even had, uh, um, um, uh, what do you call that thing when they for uh, uh, if you uh, what am I trying to say when um, you form like um, uh, uh, fuck, association like you know like an association you say you for put something together with a people go fee sign a constitution constitution no, thank you okay, okay. you know, so the, they put yeah. all the constitution together everything like to the T you know and presented all this to the to these institutions who. Uh, decided to come on board. So we ended up doing a reggae compilation album with uh, um, Goethe Institute. Oh, wow. That's how the likes of Samini, Stoneboy, um, Patan, Papa oh, Kuti, yeah. you know, um, um, there's wow. another guy. Um, I can't remember the other names. Was Jawa was in there as well. Oh, Jawa, you know, Miss Jawa, man. And, and then we, we did this with a band that came here to perform through the Goethe Institute. So the guys come and say, oh, you have all these talents. So the guy, they went there, they did the rhythm, brought the rhythm, um, uh, um, chooks and things all day on that, Ooh, on that compilation. Got, got got and through yeah. that, and I think two or three of the artists got the opportunity to go to Germany. Yeah. You know, where they go to Germany, go marry and things. You know? so, <laughs> so we're trying to put these things in place, you know, to make it work. But then, Charlie, yeah, it'd be two people. And, you know, so, it's, so it's like, so is it like, the works were attracting go, foreign, we stock, we foreign investments. We were attracting foreign investments rather than yeah. local, local investors. Because I'm wondering how you were able to fund some of these things. Look, let me let me know, tell you. Let me let me answer that because I, I I had the advantage to be in two. Yeah, part of this, remember, we came your office, yeah, yeah. Yeah. trying to do the studio so, thing to yeah. bring the talents to the studio. Yeah. Yeah. I went to Freeman to do yeah. voice coaching, like. Yeah. We work cool. <laughs> but how are you finding all of these? Because from clearly from pockets, from my own pockets. So like yeah. the house no, I build no, right no now. Corporate bodies that, like <laughs> nobody. I'm asking this question because today. Shout out to my mommy. Go give me some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking this question today because you see a brand like a Jameson. A Jameson, yeah, they who are is very that? deliberate. Yes, yes. You yeah. know, with trying to advance the culture. But do you know why Jameson? I mean, no, no, taking nothing out of Jameson's sale. But Jameson is doing that because it aligns with their brand. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So back then, so it's not it's not benevolence. No, no, you guys are forgetting. There was a Red Bull thing that did yeah. the yes. the Kweku T and uh, D Black. D -Black. D -Black. D -Black. Yeah. yeah, that was that was yeah. their launching. I mean, brands yeah. are messed with okay. hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they realized Red Bull. They realized experiential marketing was a thing then. Exactly. Right. But yeah. even then, they realized. I'm sure it was corporate Ghana because. If you, if you notice, Red Bull continued that practice elsewhere but in Ghana. But in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, South Africa. Yeah. It was a one-off. So yeah. it's a yeah. cultural thing. Yeah. Because yeah. some big man, they sit some places like, yeah, oh, this uh, yo, 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 boys. Sika, yeah, yeah. 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 So really we put ourselves down. Mm. I keep saying it. So you're saying Look, yeah, I was saying that I had the opportunity to be in two angles. Mm. And it's because the perception of what they thought rap and hip hop was yeah. was so negative yeah. that conversations were difficult. Like people, look, before... There, there are brands that I, 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 I approached, I reached out to proposals, whatever, but there's so much negative perception yeah. about hip hop and rap that people are so reluctant. It's guns and what are you talking about? And yeah. they are doing this. Yeah. And, then, and reggae raga suffers the same problem. Facts. Right? And I just think it's time that we are in such a world where you should know by now mm -hmm. that I am a rapper. 
or I do hip hop does not mean I'm a criminal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does not mean I'm a riffraff. Yeah. It's a very backward mentality. Mm -hmm. yeah. 20 years ago, I'll forgive you, we didn't have internet like the way we do have now. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. now Google something, my brother. But see, even, yeah. with, see, <laughs> even with that, even with that, the ones that we look up to yeah. are getting the backing. Yeah. These hip hop rappers we idolize mm -hmm. get the backing. You yeah. hear big brands signing them to do ambassadorial deals, yeah. Yeah. whatnot. So yeah. why is it that these same corporate bodies or multinationals who I believe have branches in these areas yeah. do not corroborate that when it comes to Africa, when it comes to Ghana? Because That's why I don't... I, I, mean, I, I know why, because there's the... the look, after GH Rap, right? Scalions, um, Navy Blue, Hartsville, and then the individual um, artists broke out, and there was now like a faction thing, and everybody's trying to do their thing. The hip-hop scene went down. It's supposed to meet, we are supposed to meet in the middle. Like you're saying, some brands are doing this on an international level. They have affiliates here who should be looking. Yeah. If we were making enough noise, right, yeah. we would have been we were spotted. Okay. But we didn't. A lot of rappers changed totally from rap. As they got discouraged. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's frustrating. A lot of rappers stopped rap and started doing other kinds of music. Yeah. That's a whole different conversation. A lot of rappers stopped rap, period, and said, let me go and find money. Zero. <laughs> you, you, you understand so what happened is that the same I mean like I said we are not here to bash anybody we are here to be honest the same people who would have been the beacons for these brands to see and say yo because this person is doing that because this person is doing that mm. we had to survive right Sustenance. EL had to survive J So had to survive Ball J has to, to survive. survive J Town has to survive and mm -hmm. Let's not, let's not think we did this for three months and bounced. Nah, yeah, right? Yes. MC yeah, Africa was in 2008, two, 2007, and then 2009. Yeah. How many years ago? And we, G, and, and we elevated that conversation till maybe about 2016, 2015, where people like Gemini stopped rapping. Yeah. Oh, Shago yeah. stopped rapping. Yeah. yeah. Even Kojo yeah. Q. Before yeah. he released this album, Kojo yeah. Q took a break on yeah. and off. Yeah. Now I even think he's on a break. Yeah. Kiara stopped rapping. I stopped rapping. So we held this for like Recognize a good decade. Ali. Yeah. Recognize, Recognize Ali. Recognize Ali had to leave the he country. Had to leave the country. Yeah. And he's actually we doing well outside. So that's, we held this thing. We held this on our own coin, on our own promo, on our own noise making for a yeah. good 10 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. When nobody paid attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. How old is, how old is, how old is Afrobeat? It's, it's Afrobeat and is a is a toddler, and the whole world is. Oh, but, but hold on, hold on. Let me let me inject something very important here. Afrobeat is what it is because of what we did. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Those ten years. Mm. This is oh no. In fact, we for clap oh. this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know they don't no, give the flowers. We yeah, clap yeah, flowers. Because they are where they are because of what we did. Yeah. Wow. If like we don't go through this harsh uh, this. You know, yeah, the hustle, founding stages. The yeah. founding stage for this ten years, they're not gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember you know, quite quite a few of even some of the Afrobeat stars now hmm. used to be on the bless the mic stage back yeah. then. Very yeah, true. Wow. To hone your skill. Very yeah, true. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were quite Very a few. True. Yeah. 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 You, know, yeah. you keep mentioning. Look, I remember Stoneboy. I remember Stoneboy like yesterday. I want to find it. The first time I met Stoneboy was at bless the mic. Yeah, yeah. Stoneboy the feet come come raga for bless the mic. I made a beat for him. Yeah, yeah. I made a beat for him live on stage. Yeah, yeah. The first time I met Stoneboy, yeah, I made a beat with a drum. I had two drum machines. Yeah, yes. I made a beat right there. Like that's the first time I saw him was on bless the mic. Yeah, for bass lounge. What was the mic? What was you know? You know how he got to to bless the mic. It was um, it was Patan. Yeah. Oh wow. It was Kwame Patan, oh, Papa Kuti, who brought him yeah, to uh, you know to bless the mic. But then before that, then one love tell me about Macho Rapper. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, you don't yeah, mention Macho. The boom boom killer. Crazy guy. <laughs> Funky boy. Funky boy. You know. But then so so. It be um, my one love bring uh, shout outs to uh, uh, the 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 sweet web sweet web yes even make a laugh you know you know um, it be one, one love brought um, um, macho rapper hmm. and macho rapper be tell my boy the yeah. boys so you know the stone boys and everything right. where they push all of them come. So the very first day we always see Stone Boy, we were like, wow, that he had a song, Hills and Valleys. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. over the hills yeah. and valleys. Yeah. You know, that'd be the song. No, before that song was Empress. Make, make her go back, <laughs> Charlie. Empress be the make first track. Make her make make detour us. Jay Foley is watching, right? He yeah. says the way the lights, they shine on your head. The hip-hop still dancing. <laughs> <laughs> 
But Stone Boy, a week before Ceci and I had sat down on my balcony at Cantonment saying, Child, Child, we first signed Stone Boy. That Thursday, so if they tell me the show be today, they will say we'll go sign them next week. That Thursday, we Samini then come. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys See were there. For that same night. Samini was there, Black Prophet was there, and Stone Boy, where they do some battle. Mm-hmm. Some mad battle. Stone Boy flow everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the following day, you know, the Kaya, with Tony Kaya, when they go sign up. Straight. <laughs> wow. Yes. When they sign up, that'd be the first, you know, major, uh, major thing major we have yeah. move from that platform. The, the first wow. time I ever and saw these are the stories. was also there. Bulldog used to bring his artists to bring yes. to yes. yes. Yeah, to yeah. like, I, so, you know, I, I, I dare you, I, I, I dare I you to find me somebody who is relevant in our music, even Sack. I dare you to Wait, bring me somebody who is relevant. Hold on, hold on. Let me, you bring, you mentioned now for talk about this on end now. Me and Ceci Day House were with the chop. We know chop when I chose to finish. Dr. Dan can call. I say, I was here. Me wo, I me 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 bad do a how. Pede bane obeshe no oye oye wad oye wad. He said, "See the tell this story, you go laugh that." So we no chop finish self. We sat in mommy and pick up. We move the car. Just pick up before put down for the hip hop video. Mommy pick up. Mark <laughs> one. Mommy pick up. <laughs> oh, I remember that pick up very well. We move go tema straight. We go uh, 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 Doctor Duncan. Then this somebody I know the guy is who has it. We go there, Charlie. We go there, we go, we, we go there, we pull up, we call him, say, Charlie, we come, we enter. He say, Charlie. So we they sit down, we say, the boy, the boy did there, we they call the boy, come. He come, some short guy, we, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then they come, they, they wear self. That be the first time yeah. where we all we meet him, you know. So he say, make you do something, make you hear. Then he start boss, he boss, he boss. I say, okay, okay, you know, but, you know, mm-hmm. if you do something, you know. That was it. That was just that yeah. from that point. Then start started to come because mm-hmm. then Dan can they you know support me yeah. you know because they you know there was a movement so everybody yeah. was involved you know even black at a certain point yeah, was, yeah. you know but I know black they are doing own thing yeah. you know. but you know so it was very 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 organic organic that's very yeah. organic that's, yeah. that's what I'm seeing like everybody seeing. black black was part of the collective I think at the time he was a student in Legon because my older cousin which black DJ black DJ black, DJ black. they were called the Black Bone Crew. Some mm. um, Noche, yeah, I Noche, think, yeah, Noche. yeah. yeah. Noche brutal, Noche yeah. bad rapper. Yeah. yeah, I think he's an electrical engineer or something. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Like yeah. we've really had some people. Like, yeah. and and you know, what I, I mean, wanted to, mm. I want to ask Jay that. Yeah. I think if you ask me, because I was in prime Skillions era. Yeah. Like mm. I really felt the yeah. impact of the Skillions era, and I thought. This was the movement to actually elevate the culture. Yeah. Do you think that yeah. you have failed the nation when you guys split? No. I don't think so. Okay. I think the nation failed us. The nation failed you. Yes. Oh. And and it's still it's still happening today. Why? What happened to Skillions? Because I I, I I realized that there was a generation that gave way to another generation because mm. yes. the fathers couldn't do could you run the race so they pass no. on the so, no, so yeah. let, me, so let, me, let me let me speak like he so for me I one fame is not a thing for me right I don't, I don't care about fame okay I would rather be backstage but make more money than the artists who are on stage right okay that's my thing right so when I started to notice that we were having some issues mm. and uh, Jaso and I had conversations. Mm about things that were going on in the group and whatnot. And everyone went their way. The fortunate thing about the Skillions was everybody was a solo artist. Everybody was a producer. So they yeah. could all do their things. Right. Nobody, and it didn't end in a bad way. Mm. We're all cool. We still spoke. Mm. So like I said, J-Soul signed me up for MC Africa. That's right. right. That's right. So after MC Africa, I got signed to a label. Mm. The problem with that label was you signed me as an artist, but you also want me to do work as if I am a manager, this and that. Employee. A video shoot, when I got there, there was nobody there. Ah. He looked at me in the face and said, ah, but you don't invite anybody that's like, that's not ah. <laughs> I'm the artist. Uh. What name was this? K1 West. Who oh. is now a oh. uh, small god. Oh. But uh, small god and I, we have love forever because he right. signed me at the time that. Yeah, he was my manager. Oh, K- wow. Killer One West. Because, yeah, Killer One West. Because he was working with Black Prophet. Because so, I, yeah. did, I did the artwork for the Prophecy album. There you and go. And I met Sway. This was... Oh, wow. So, wow. Okay. that's why I have a I have an unreleased track with but Sway. But he's, he's come to bless the mic to as well. bless the mic. Yes. 
Yeah. We've all come, we've done that. So once that happened, I started to look into the business side of it, mm. what the music could do for me. Mm. Mm. And it panned out at the end of the day for me. Mm. But I also realized that there's people sitting in certain positions that don't care about the genre. Yeah. Hands down. And mm. I, I can give you... Yeah, we have those examples, bro. Examples <laughs> of people who have told me stuff in, in my face saying mm. that, oh, this this no go be. Yeah. And artists who would never tell you that this is what they were told, this is what, what they were paid. There are people sitting in places that when their show's coming to Ghana, fabulous, yeah. coming to Ghana, very popular DJ called me, say, Charlie, they want you on the show. And in my head, I was like, I was going to be on this show, I know for a fact. Mm. Yeah. At that point in hip-hop, yeah. it was me and a few other people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say, Charlie, I, so I put your name down. So come, they, your money make ready, and then they'll show you your hotel and everything. First of all, the money was 400 Ghana CDs <laughs> at that time. Let me be honest. At that time, I'd gone to do a show in Morocco. Wow. Got paid $10,000. Hmm. And this guy, big DJ, told me that 400 Ghana said, like, no problem. No problem. It's fabulous. It's I'm going to do it for yeah. this thing. He said, hey, but Charlie, forgive me my cuts. 200. Ah. Took it. So I walked out with 200. Wow. I, I gave it to somebody for petrol or whatever. And I went to do the show. So I went to do the show. And at that time, Joey B used to come on stage with me every single time. Mm. He would tell you that he was my half man. We never, but I just love Joey. Mm. Yeah. So we used to go perform. And then I saw a comment on Twitter. That's when I realized that, you know what, Charlie? A <laughs> Say, <laughs> so Charlie, Charlie, we don't get time here. Mm. These boys, they flow for English. Oh. Wow. So here's a question to you guys. Yeah. Will ever, will there ever be an artist who raps in English because that's all they can do. Right. Yeah. Bro, Make even if they have other languages, that's all they want to do. What's the problem? Fine. But I do not personally think that they want to see somebody like us blow. It has to be somebody who, and I'm sorry to say, it has to be somebody who like who, who raps in yeah. No, I don't, I, I, I mean, I don't I, agree I, to I, that. I, personally, I, I, I think yeah, so. I don't agree, I, 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 yeah. I don't agree to that because yeah. I think the problem is with the plugs. Hip hop, GH rap, rappers, we didn't have any plugs in the system mm -hmm. because we were in this same country when, uh, was it BET or MTV? When Listen, they wanted we to have a sign for Please don't say we, don't say we had major plugs. We had major plugs. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we downplayed when, it. No, we have, there's something this. that needs what, to be what, said. What, bro, what cipher did they have? What, what cipher was, was it? BET. Was it BET that they had? Yeah, it was BET. Yeah, BET. It was BET. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, At yeah. the time, BET wanted to have that cipher yeah. with whoever were MCs in Ghana. Yeah. Right? My name was not on that list. EL's name was not on that list. His name was not on that list. And on God, we were the hottest MCs I, I, I remember that. Facts. Where they carry some beans. beans. Where they carry the beans, go the cipher. And the yeah. cipher came back and it was crap. Yep. Yeah. And that's why we had to do Ignis, uh, Foresight TV. That's why yeah. we saw yeah. the mistake and the error in that yeah, yeah, and yeah, came yeah. out with the Foresight uh, uh, cipher. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was so clear yeah. that BET had extended an arm that, okay, we see hip hop is moving mm -hmm. in Ghana, mm -hmm. right? We are going to take this hip hop culture to the world. Yeah. Who are the ones who are going to be your champions yeah. for this? Uh, whatever, yeah. right? And then they carried the wrong squad, and that thing tanked. Did BT come back? So why? But, why, but wait, why, why so did they carry the wrong squad? So today, it's the same thing. You talk about the mentality of our people and yeah. people sitting in no, a certain positions. But the people get the same backward mentality. Maybe uh, uh, we don't even go far. <laughs> Uh, uh, music goes best with sports. Right. Look on our on our black star system. Mm -hmm. Look on our soccer system. How do they do their selection? Who do they carry go go represent us to play and win Everest. tournaments? It be that be that, so we have the plugs right. But me, if somebody if BT mm. comes to me right now and say PY, would they come do cipher? And I'll make you put so and so together. I would think about the job first mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. one, if I do the job and I do them well, they will give me another we'll give job. Another yeah. One. Yeah. And then two, I will put my best team forward so that if we go out, I know say we go win battle. Yeah. If we come and you know, we yeah. go share. Right. Yeah. So why I for put if I go put you my boy in that formation, my boy be as, I get goosebumps. So yeah. You know, I for my boy be as dope as no. whatever because yeah. I for back him. Yeah. And I for back him because yeah. if we go, we go flopper. Yeah. 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 And, and yeah. to stress it, it's not that we didn't have any plugs, yeah. right? Yeah. We had plugs, but the plugs we had 
were not here in Ghana. They were Ghanaian. There were people who were either Ghanaian outside, yeah. or there were people who loved Ghana. Yeah. Or you tapped mentioned into the you, or, or tapped into the culture. Yeah, you yeah, mentioned yeah, yeah. Uh, Lillian. Lillian. Yeah. I could also say that Lika Sumba was a big plug. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, yeah, Lee was taking, sure. taking everything hip hop and doing her best. Yeah. Sure. Lillian did her best. But the plugs who were here, who went international bodies, look know. at <laughs> and said, <laughs> okay, who is the know. biggest uh, manager or whatever? Kawa. Bro, you are going to make a point. You make a point. Let me know. Yeah, but digress. I'm going to start freestyling. There's nothing else to be said. There's nothing else to be said. The other thing is... Me, I'm just thinking about how to move the conversation in a progressive manner. Mm. Right. You understand? Right. Because we have youngins on the come up. Yeah, I have right. people reaching out to me in the DMs all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I want to do ABCD and, you know, they send me stuff. I'm, I have an automated system where I just update my status on Facebook. I hardly up. check my inbox because it's yeah. wild. People are always reaching out. Mm. I want you to help me do this. What do you think about this or that? And it got to a point I stopped checking because a majority of the stuff I see is promising but it's not good enough. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. there's a thing to be said about the need for platforms like Bless the Mic. Right. Yeah. Why? Because in the current music business, in the current paradigm of the business, labels and production companies, prime, well, labels mm. in right. the classic sense of the word, right. do not do artist development. Mm. So no. the best thing you can do is make sure your talent is on a certain oh, level. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then with the right marketing, with the right PR, and go. of course the right team around you, with the right you know strategy and all that stuff. And you know, it's just like rocket fuel, mm. you know, mm. and that's the critical thing we have missing here, mm. which is why we have a lot of our neighbors who can get inspiration from Ghana but finesse our stuff better than we can, yeah. and yeah. they go, you know, a step further. Yeah. People say, uh, or, or do you We lack a lot Nigeria. of investment here, which <laughs> I agree. I agree, yeah. we, we need a lot of investment, oh, but yeah. is investment needed when the talent isn't ready? Yeah. That's 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 something we need know. to start asking ourselves. Yeah. Speaking of yeah, talent, I mean, no, you want to say something? Yeah, I was going to say that you, you talk. About, my mind went to you know, look at. Let's not go too far. Burkina Faso, even Togo, you know, they have and these guys are doing hip hop, you know, Crazy. but because because they put the system in place, yeah. you know, and the support is there, Senegal. You know, they have artists. S Senegal is Charlie, crazy. It's happening, yeah. you know. The blueprint so, is there from SA to Senegal to this thing. It's yeah, just yeah, for some reason we. Our heads are not following it. Mm. Okay, we have five minutes more, right? Mm. And I just okay. want to ask the big question. Yeah. Right. <sighs> Hip hop in Ghana. Ego mm -hmm. far. Looking at the new age, we have some names out there. Mm -hmm. You have your lyrical Joes, you have um, Amarados, you have your Enno, yeah. um, you have your Romeo Swag, Kojo Trip, Toy Mensa, Boy. Goku, C, you you yeah, know, and so then we have the big debate. Is, even, is Black Sheriff hip hop or, or High Life? Like, <laughs> I, think, you know, I, think, you understand? I think it's both. Looking yeah. at where we are now, yeah. and these youngins who are also doing their thing and putting 100%. Yeah. How do we ensure that the, the potholes where we fall inside, you know, uh, they no go go meet that same issue? Because we have social media now. Yes. They have things that we didn't even imagine yeah. were possible. You had to go to yeah. MP3 tweet yeah. to <laughs> upload your song. <laughs> you understand? So I want to take it one, 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 because we all have different perspectives and, um, and, and, and ideologies that we would like to hinge on. Me personally, yeah. I think hip-hop in its authentic form mm -hmm. is not what is we have on the scene today. Yeah. Yes. And if we are going to stand out as hip hop, mm -hmm. to connect to hip hop in the world, mm -hmm. we are going to have to work on that. Mm -hmm. Because the fact that you are adapting to survive in Ghana mm -hmm. is also alienating you from connecting to what hip hop is outside. Yeah. The more you compromise to adapt to Ghana. I have a Ghana. quick question for clarity. Mm. Don't you think that um, a culture that comes from somewhere. I know hip hop is us, right? But yes. it went and came it back. And came back. Right. Right. Don't you think it needs to be localized somewhat? Because in all these, um, all the references we are using in mm -hmm. Africa, in South America, and whatnot. Yeah. Japan. When you Japan, Charlie, mm -hmm. Japan is crazy. Yeah. When you hear it, the hip hop is undeniably. Bro, let me tell you. Mm. Yeah. But it it's has unique. It, it has some cultural unique undertone. culture. Yeah. Exactly. That's why. You that's where. I mean? That's where the understanding comes in. Because when. Let me use myself as an example again. When, wh when, you, when you have an idea like you get a, a production like uh, DJ Jules mm -hmm. yeah. and you put Manifest and myself on the track, it's localized right. as hell, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's still hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I agree with you perfectly. But what I'm saying yeah. is that now people are literally not even doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
You understand? I mean, PY, because let's go. They, we because have they, five minutes left. Because they, they feel and think that, you know, it's not there. They know they see the reason why. I mean, man, you mentioned Manifest, you know, Manifest in last two albums. If you listen, how many of the tracks will be like real hardcore hip hop tracks, yeah. you know? Um, because he also has to find a way to fit in and survive, mm. you know? So, um, hip hop always evolves, right? From the 80s that we started talking about to now. Um, and then the content could depend on the culture, what is really happening, what is relevant mm -hmm. within that mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. So yes, I still believe that you can put a you can put a J Town and uh, and Black Sharif on a beat down by Beat Menace, mm. and it will fly globally. Mm. We just did the uh, 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 Black Star Line concert. Yeah. All these guys come go. Yeah. Nobody fits down with with Togbe. Uh, what be the guy name? <laughs> chance or no? Not Chance. The, the Niger guy. Toby. Toby. Oh, Toby. 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 You know, nobody, nobody could fit down with Toby. Do a track. You know, yeah. Chance. Toby. I heard Toby Nibwe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, yeah. you know. These are the these these be the old, these are the some of the ways that I feel we can we can we can tap into you know such opportunities mm. because they will come. It be business. Right. They put money in it, so obviously also looking for the money mm. aspect of it. So they will come do my business and go. But how do we? Because that's what we started the conversation with. How do we? Uh, uh, um, Benefit from yeah, that, yeah, leverage on you that. know, and how we go feel leverage on that. So now it be global world, be global space, you know. So I believe, yes, this is the time. If there was ever a time, this is the time for us to be, you know, fully awake, stay woke, you know, pull the guns together. I mean, your team, you know, they need two hundred people. So you are going to see bless the mic come back. Right? Bless the mic. As we they talk right now, I they talk to a, a very good director right now, so that we can finally shoot our documentary because we need to tell our story first right. once we tell the story this gener this new generation the gen z yeah. who understand all the stuff that we've mentioned here mm -hmm. then we have plans on bringing the event itself back right you know four different locations ac across Accra, Tema, Kaswa. so say we go feel still keep it moving you know Street. Street. Charlie, Street. jay is there hope um, should we be worried for me, I, th I think we, sh we should still be worried because if we, if uh, I'm taken by what he's saying, as in Beat Menace is saying, is we had Black Sharif featuring Tory Lanez. Yep. Whole hook is in our language. Yep. Style-wise, Ghana. Mm. Where's the noise on radio? Mm. I know we hear that track. Thank mm. you. You know here before. <laughs> but Crazy. it is... Fire! Record. What what he yeah. did on the track to the point where you can even say that yo, Tori must have been shaking small. Yeah, look, yeah, let, me, let me let me just so, quickly tell you something. Okay. Just a little. I'm not get time for you. I'm looking at my what, clock. What he's saying. So apparently, yeah, Tori recorded his his verse. Yeah, and then Blacko did his. Yeah, when he had Blacko's verse, like nah, he went back and changed. <laughs> he went back and did okay. it again. Okay, wow. Yeah. So <laughs> they, wow. It, it, yeah. it exists. What God shared with us. I'm, I'm always going to say this until yeah, us. Yes, what God's us as a yeah, people. Don't push our people and keep pushing other countries and whatnot. They'll always we break Nigerian sure. artists. Yes. Mm. In Ghana. Yes. Mm. Mm. That's facts. Mm. Mm. You facts. can't you can never go to Nigeria and break a Ghanaian artist. Mm. It's not you, possible. You don't <laughs> and the last thing, and the last thing, let me say this. Me, I'm a very honest person. There is an entity in Ghana that is selling our Ghanaian artists to empire. Mm. Cheap. If you want to know what's really happening in this country. Find out. Cheap. We don't do our homework. You heard it here first. You guys don't know who Beat Menace is. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. I'm just for cheap. You know who this guy be? As well. No, let's go. Hip hop. We lost it. Is there hope? The new generation. Are they going to make it happen where we fail? Well, I have a very simple mantra. I think wherever there's life, there's hope. You know what I mean? But we need to be intentional about it. We should stop catching feelings and being yes. sentimental about certain things yes. and get to work. Yes. It's just that simple. Yes. And I think the problem that is plaguing hip-hop is not an isolated problem. Mm -hmm. It's plaguing other forms of music, maybe not as, as much as it is to hip-hop, but it's a fundamental problem that is happening that we're experiencing because we don't understand and value culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's that simple. Yeah. Because the number one vehicle to sell or drive culture in any part of the world is music first. It's music, yep. Yep. It's music food, and language. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if 
I mean, I, I feel it's, it's just a symptom of a much deeper rooted problem. Facts. We need mm. to be very intentional about culture. Very true. We need to That's the right word, intentional. Yeah. Yes, we need to be intentional about it. Yes. It's all right, Charlie. Simple. Who they support small God with all the money they push into the industry and all they do? Who they support them? Hmm. Nobody. Hmm. Hmm. This matter. Make them pay my bills pay right now. Bills, <laughs> 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 so the Slave for Ghana yeah. promo is here. Can see Woodin. Enjoy the rich Ghanaian culture through amazing Woodin fabrics ready to wear. Visit Woodin retail shops and partner shops worldwide and nationwide and receive an instant gift with your purchase. You also stand a chance of winning a hamper full of Woodin products in the weekly draw. Offer ends on 7th April. Terms and conditions apply. Woodin Le Creator. Now, ANC Mall, Accra Mall, Junction Mall, Oxford Street Mall, um, High Street, City Park, C City Car Park Building, Legon City Mall, H&M Mall, Adenta. Those are the places you find Woodin shops in Accra. In Kumasi, you find at the Kumasi City Mall, SG Mall, and Edum Unicorn House. In Cape Coast, Pat's Building near the Kingsway, Takrade near the Market Circle, Koforidua in Antarctic Plaza Building, and in the Pat's Building in Sunyani. And that's Woodin still celebrating Ghana, Ma Ghana Month with their promo, Slay for Ghana promo. Now, Pepsodent is saying that every time we eat, food and sugar gets trapped between our teeth, leading to tooth decay, gum disease, and a host of other issues, including foul breath, fuse. Pepsodent cavity fighter is fortified with pro fluoride and micro calcium ingredients to seal those tiny holes in your teeth. So make sure you continue to use Pepsodent cavity fighter for that maximum cavity protection, 10 times stronger for 10 times stronger teeth. 25 years of educating to brush day and night. Pepsodent is recommended by the Ghana Dental Association. Now, the special um, Pepsodent is charcoal. Pepsodent, look out for that. Or you can call customer service toll free on 0800 2030. Always remember to brush your teeth in the morning and before you sleep at night. Pepsodent, every smile counts. Charlie. Breaking news. Mm -hmm. Bernard Boy will perform in the Champions League final on June. The Champions! Bum, 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 bum. Niger do I'm again. It's right, it's we're just right. talking about plugs. You think Ben and I went to That's break? That's the plug. <laughs> <Someone> <laughs> to yeah, it's the plug. Exactly. We'll get to it. I mean, it's been wonderful having you guys. Charlie Beat Thank you. Thank you. Always Thank a you. pleasure catching up. Uh, J-Town, I see you, Chair, but... Definitely, like yesterday, it's always nice catching up. And to Big Bro, Charlie, agree. please don't stop. Let's see how we can revive Bless the Mic. We What's need that there? platform. We need to let them go through what we went through and enjoy and experience what it's like to have a place where you can go and be an artist for being an artist's sake, Charlie. And as I always say, Culture Daily, we bring you what's relevant and what's Straight. popping. It's been a big conversation. Hip Hop at 50, 3 Music TV, trying to elevate the conversation and push hip hop even further. It's your boy, Serial. Our time is up. Production is shouting in my ear. We are. <laughs> we are. We are.